Good morning, little Snickers. All cozy in the bed. Today is Monday, January the 15th. Are you getting up? Okay, here we go. Well, I'm off on another adventure. Calling this Desert 2024. Just me and Snickers. Okay, Snickers, here we go. We go bye-bye. Hello! Today is Monday, January 15th, if I didn't already say that. I am in Quartzsite at the High Jolly BLM uh, camp area with the ladies that I'm camping with. It's a combination group from Travel Grandma and Cali Van Gals. There's probably 25 or 30 of us here. A few people have already left. One of the gals and I will be leaving on Wednesday to go post us south to meet up with the Q24 group, which is going to be a big group, big group of YouTubers. So I learned another thing about my rig today. Actually, last night. I use a CPAP, and I have a 12-volt plug right over my bed that I use for my CPAP. Well, around 2.30ish, it stopped working. And I fussed with the plug, and I fussed with it, and it wouldn't come on, or it would come on just a quick second and go off. So I pulled out my electrical cord and plugged it into my Blue Eddy, and slept the rest of the night just fine. This morning, I get up to check my battery, and it actually said 9.8. So my batteries had gone down that much. And um, I'm sure that's what it was, because you need at least 12 volts to run the CPAP. And I quickly turned on my generator for a couple hours, and now the sun is glaring on my solar panel, so I should be good. So I know the CPAP won't work unless there's at least 12 volts of juice going through the plug. Now that I'm all charged up, I put the CPAP plug back in the 12 volt and it turned on just fine so another lesson learned gotta make sure my battery is charged up before I go to bed so I might have to run my generator for a while before I go to bed to make sure that there's enough juice to run my CPAP and I also have my Blue Eddy and I can charge it easily with the 12 volt or the 110 or whatever so I have that as my backup. All right, another lesson learned. Sunset for tonight, January 15th, Martin Luther King Day sunset. There's the sunset going down. Beautiful sunset, I'll have to try and paint that. Crafty Travelers, today is Tuesday, January the 16th, 2024. Today, Snickers and I are going to go do some errands in town. We've got to do laundry, get some water, get some gas, and some lunch. So if you'd like to come along with us, come along. We'll see what we see in Quartzsite. 
Our first stop is a local refuge dump. When you're parked out in BLM land, there's no amenities, including no trash cans. So you have to go to this dump site, and they're only open Wednesday through Sunday. So if you make a mistake and come the wrong day, you have to turn around and take your trash back. But it is free, and when you come in, you come on in through the gate, and you follow the rest of the group, and usually there's an attendant to guide you through the process. Some people just back their trucks up to the dump pile. I was lucky enough that he directed me over to one of these blue bins because all I had was one bag and then I was done. Now I'm headed to the corner laundromat. There are two laundromats in Courtside. This one is a little bit smaller, and the other one, which is more in town, also has showers for $11, and there's a cafe. But I felt that, that would be more busy than this one, and I was right. It wasn't as busy as the other one. But uh, again, not all of their machines worked. There were quite a few dryers out of order and a few washers. The cost was $2 a load for wash and I put 75 cents in which gave me about a half an hour to dry. Now I'm going to fill up my water jugs. I like to go to the water station kiosk north of town. It's usually less busy. There is one more in the center of town. This is just a water vending machine. I come to the water vending. This is the one north of town. There's another one south. And here's the machine. And it takes quarters. It is quarter per gallon or a dollar for five gallons. I've just got a gallon today, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm headed back to the laundromat to switch out my laundry from the washer to the dryer. So just headed back to the corner laundry to finish up what I started. Here's our group who's here right now. New. We have about 30 total ladies in the area. Not all of them come, and some come later than others. Another beautiful sunset. This one is more pink tonight. Don't know what you're going to get. Pink, yellow, orange. Every sunset seems to be different. Now it's more yellow. There's my RV with the sunset in the background. Here's our campfire tonight. And uh, I think Stacy's going to be putting on some of that colored powder. You can see some color, some blue, some pink in the fire after she's put the colored powder in. Looked very pretty. We made it back to camp safe and sound. We got all our chores taken care of. Got to take a day to do those chores. Okay, I know this video wasn't very exciting, but I'm glad you watched it all the way through. I appreciate it very much. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you like this one, give me a thumbs up. Comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe when doing chores in Quartzite. Bye now.